we will begin this introduction with a review of today's summary screen. The top section provides the recommended daily calories as well as calories remaining derived from your food journaling and exercise journaling. The center section provides daily totals from your food journaling for that day as well as a goal summary. There is a mail icon on the top left to chat with your coach as well as an email icon to send an email. The toolbar along the bottom will access most popular screens of the application. The My Goal screen allows you to view progress over time, as well as recording your current weight to see the impact of that change in a graphical representation. The My Log screen will allow you to keep a food journal to tabulate the amount of calories you are consuming. The Swipe Up tab will allow you to view the amount of remaining calories and macronutrients. To add a food, click on the plus icon button. Then search for your desired food by typing in the food name. Once the food is located, press on it and adjust the number of servings. Then click Add to Log. Repeat this process until all of the foods have been entered for the meal time. You can also save those multiple foods as a favorite meal and store them for later use in other meal times. In this example, we're saving peanut butter and banana as a meal and then utilizing it from the option bar above during our food search and adding it for a different meal time in a different day. We can also save foods as favorites and then quickly access the favorites list from the optional bar along the top, then adding it to the log. You can also add exercise to keep track of calories burned through exercise expenditure. There are hundreds of exercises to choose from. You can also remove different exercises from the exercise list. The My Meal screen allows you to access meal plans that have been assigned by your counselor. You can produce a grocery list by clicking on the grocery icon then selecting the days you want to go grocery shopping for. A neatly organized list of food groups will then be displayed where you can check off items as you complete your grocery shopping. To view a meal plan, click on the specific day and you can scroll through the list of the various meal times. From there, you have the option to exchange foods by pressing on them, then touching the option menu and selecting exchange food. Select from the list of available exchange options and the serving size will be automatically adjusted. To move that meal quickly to the log, press the icon, then select the log date and confirm. This particular food will then appear in your My Log screen. The last icon in the bottom right is the settings screen where you can have access to adjust optional settings including international units of measure and adjustments to wearable calorie tracking devices. You can also view your custom foods you've added to the food database as well as add custom foods using manual entry or scanning a barcode. The perform upsync and downsync can be done manually but it is also automatically performed as well as checking for food updates and logging out of your account.